In this video, I want to show you a very simple method to create and manipulate Euclidean rhythms in real time. As many of you probably already know, Euclidean rhythms consist of a series of beats distributed as evenly as possible over a given number of pulses. For example, if I want to spread three beats over eight pulses, I have a rhythm of three plus three plus two. This is indeed the most even distribution possible of three over eight. Five beats over eight quavers give us a rhythm of two plus one plus two plus one plus two quavers. And of course, any combination of beats over a number of pulses that is greater than or equal to the number of beats is possible. I will now show you a very simple algorithm that allows us to generate Euclidean rhythms in real time, without the need to store them in lists or arrays. This will make it possible to change the parameters of Euclidean rhythms on the fly with maximum flexibility. Just as we did in the previous video on Euclidean scales, we will use the scale object to stretch the number of beats we want over the number of pulses we have. Then we add a counter, which counts the bangs it receives. As you can see, if we send to the scale object values from 0 to 8, we get in output values from 0 to 3. To make the calculation more precise, we do the number mapping in floating point and then truncate to the integer value with the int object. Then we send the value to the change object, which produces an output only when the input is different from the previous one. So in this case, it produces an output with each new integer it receives. We then turn this output into a bang. Now we send the bang to a click object, then add a metro object to the start of the patch and listen to the Euclidean rhythm that is produced. Here it is, 3 over 8. Let's try 5 over 8 now. To make the operation performed by the algorithm more explicit, we can replace the scale object with an expression that divides the series of consecutive input numbers by the length of the loop and then multiplies it by the desired number of beats. The output result will be the same. As you can see, I can change the Euclidean rhythm in real time. We will now use this system to generate drum patterns by overlapping multiple Euclidean rhythms. Let's rearrange and simplify the patch a bit. For the drum sound, we will use the Labs plugin from Spitfire Audio, on which we have loaded the free drums library. The MIDI note 36 is the kick sound. Let's generate a note of 110 velocity and 100 milliseconds duration for each bang. Nice. Now I will duplicate the algorithm twice to get a small drum set. Now I'm looking for a second sound for the drum set. OK, the right cymbal bell is good. Let's try a pattern of length 12. Not bad. Now let's try adding a rotation factor to shift one rhythm relative to the other. Let's see how we can use the rotation factor. 
For example, we can start with two identical rhythms and then shift one of them. This mechanism is similar to the shifting patterns that Steve Reich used in some of his compositions. Time to add another sound. I want to add a tom this time. Notice that when I change the parameters, everything remains perfectly synchronized, because the flow of rhythms is driven by a single counter common to all three patterns. To humanize the pattern a bit, I can add a random variation to the velocity of the sounds. Here it is. Let's set the parameters and listen to the result. Very interesting. Now I need more space to add another feature. Let's encapsulate the random generators. Now I am creating a probabilistic factor for note generation. This way not all beats are played, but only a defined percentage. Here, I generate random numbers between 0 and 99, and through the less than operator, I check which values are less than a set percentage. If the random value is less than the percentage parameter, the relational operator generates a 1, and the select 1 object produces a bang and plays a note. If I lower the percentage parameter, some beats are filtered out. And of course, at 0%, everything is filtered out. OK, I have encapsulated the probabilistic algorithm and I added it to all the elements of the drum set. Let's try a few patterns. I think the most interesting thing about this system is that you can change the parameters on the fly and have a continuous evolution of the pattern. 
Just think of what could be done by automating the parameters or controlling them with LFOs or other generators. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching and see you next time.